Hello, this is Tom from anti-proton.com. Today's topic is depleted uranium toys. As most of you know, depleted uranium is usually a very toxic substance that people don't want to get on them. It gets uh, into the water, it can cause birth defects and all this other stuff. In fact, if you type depleted uranium in Google and look at the image search, you'll be horrified. In other words, don't do it. You don't want to see what's there, trust me. And when you think of depleting, depleted uranium, you usually think of things like this. This is not actually a depleted uranium penetrator. It's a mock-up of one. It is a sample. It's not the real thing, of course, because if it were the real thing, I wouldn't own it, I guarantee. But if it were real, it would also be about two or three times as heavy as this, too. This is a 20 millimeter round, to give you an example. Um, depleted uranium is the same as natural uranium, like this. I got this from United Nuclear. It's obviously real. With depleted uranium, what they do is they take the uranium, and uranium has a certain amount of uranium-238 to 237. And let me show you these marbles as an example. If every one of these marbles was a single atom of uranium, then for every chunk of them that, like, that are like this, this one right here would be an individual uranium-235 atom, mixed amongst all the rest of these U-238 atoms. U-235 is the fissile type. It's the type that splits in reactors. So what they do is they try to have more of these in this than just the one. They want to have a bunch of them in there. They want to have 2, 3, 4% enrichment for, for, um, for nuclear power plants. The result when they're done doing that is uranium that's enriched to be used in nuclear power plants, but then they also have extra uranium left over, lots of it, that is now lower in fact, it might be two or three of these containers and only one uranium-235 in it. And this, this uranium is called depleted uranium. It's not that it's so much spent or used, it's that it doesn't contain as much uranium-235. The ratio is not the same. Here are the ratios. Alright, so to give you an idea, I found these at my uh, father's house. My um, stepmother put them out. And she had them on the table. They were like a childhood toy. A little childhood toy. She used to play marbles when she was younger. In fact, here's a ball bearing she used. And I thought to myself, these could just be radioactive. Why not? I mean, everything else seems to be. Every time I test something, it seems to always be radioactive. So I figured, why not give it a shot? I went out with a Geiger counter, and I didn't really get very, much, uh, very many good results. And the reason is the radioactivity in these isn't very much. It's very low. Um, and I'm thinking about all these com complex ways to figure out if it has any of this in it. And then it dawned on me, there is a good way to find out if it has some of that in it. This, and I'll show you, this is a piece of depression glassware. In fact, it's absolutely gorgeously beautiful. Tell me that that is not just a beautiful piece. This is a long wave UV light. When you put it up against it, well, let's cut the light off so you can see. Let me cut this off. Let me cut the lights down a bit. It's going to kill my video quality some. My video quality is not the best to begin with, and it certainly isn't good when I cut the lights down. Let's see if we can see it better. See how it glows? You see it glowing? In fact, let me cut the lights down all the way. There we go. Now you see it. As you can see, it glows like a champ. Look at that. This is a form of fluorescence that comes from the uranium. Uranium fluorescence. And it occurred to me, if I wave it over the marbles, it might also show something. And it might not, though. Because as you can see, the, 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 the label on the container of uranium is fluorescent, but the uranium inside itself is not. But some is. Let me show you. Here's an example of Autonite. When you put this over Autonite, Autonite glows a beautiful green color. Look at that. And so, without further ado, here are the marbles I found. As you can see, they glow just fine. Video quality is probably really, really low right now, so I'm going to cut the light on them so you can see. They're glowing bright green. Now, let me cut the lights back on. Okay, 
Nice and see again. Here are the marbles I found. Let's see if you can see with the light on now. Probably not. It's just too bright. But regardless. Here are the marbles. Now. Huh, look at that, they fit in the little holes. I found those in this collection here, and I've tested other collections of marbles too. Like this one. Trying to find versions that were like this. And I did the same thing, went over them. And I did find some that were, you can't see it in the light, but if it, if it were dark in here, this one glows too. But again, it's not. So out of all of these marbles, out of all of them, I only found this handful of them. But this handful of marbles contains depleted uranium. Let me show you. First off, let me move these out of the way. Move these two. Here is a piece of regular uranium. See? The kind I have, you have, everybody has. Well, probably not. Here are de depleted uranium marbles. This, by the way, contains depleted uranium as well. Here's a spectrum of natural uranium. I want you to look really carefully at the lines that you see, the, the peaks that stick up, those little hump-shaped things. Look very carefully at them. Alright, now, here's a spectrum of the depleted uranium. Same uranium, but this one has a different ratio of things in it. Did you notice that those humps about halfway through the spectrum are not there. Those are the daughters, uranium daughters, specifically uh, bismuth-214 and lead-214 and radium-226. Now let's move this out of the way. By the way, here's that little bit of autonite. And let's bring up another counter. This is my old CDV-700. It's not the most beautiful looking thing in the world, but as far as I'm concerned, it's absolutely gorgeous and it's my favorite. It's also not the most accurate. By far, it's not the most accurate, but it's my favorite. And the beta shield on it is open, so you can you can close the beta shield or open it. Oops, or get your glove caught in it. With the beta shield open, it registers beta and gamma. With the beta shield closed, it registers only gamma. And as you can see, well, that already went all the way over. So on the times 10 mode, rather hot. 2,000 almost. And gamma only. We switch back to the times one. And we get about... Go back to the times ten, I guess. We're still not going to get very much, though. 1,000 counts. 500 counts. Not much. That's a pretty hot specimen. It's actually quite impressive how little this one reads. It barely reads at all. As opposed to this unit, which reads it, which reads it quite well. But then again, the inspector is a significantly better Geiger counter. Now, the reason that they put the depleted uranium in as best as I can tell or anybody else that I know of, is because it, it made the glass look nice. It made it look pretty. It's, made, it's what gives it this beautiful color. And it is beautiful. They didn't know any different back then. They didn't know it could harm you. And they added it to everything. I have plenty of glassware that's made of this. No one's 100% sure just how dangerous this stuff could be. It's mostly considered not to be very dangerous in small amounts. For example, the person who owned these marbles played with them for years, and she never suffered any effects. At least none that are known. Let's move this away, and then let's just see how hot the marbles themselves are. In the hot night. Now, I'm going to take these marbles. Normally I don't leave this thing in the up position, but we're going to today. Look at that. Marbles are marbles. 
and they always want to play. Let's stick this under here so we can raise it up so you can see it. Two hundred and forty four, two forty eight, not much. What amusing play toys. Two seventy eight, two eighty, and that looks like that's about leveled off. Well, there you go. You gotta love the fifties and the sixties. Everything was radioactive. Not really, but sort of. And they had no idea. This has been Tom. Oh, look at that. 300. This has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and we'll see what else we can find. Bye-bye.